Welcome to Hexabot, your trusted destination for in-depth technical insights in mechatronics, electrical engineering, and industrial automation. In today's video, we're taking a closer look at one of the most fundamental and widely used components in the world of motion, the DC motor. From simple devices like fans and electric toothbrushes to advanced systems like medical equipment and electric vehicles, DC motors power countless tools and machines around us every day. Let's explore how they work, what makes them spin, and why they're so essential to both everyday life and modern industry. A DC motor, or direct current motor, is an electromechanical device that converts direct electrical energy into rotational mechanical motion. At its core, it works based on a simple but powerful principle. When an electric current flows through a conductor placed in a magnetic field, it experiences a force this is called the Lorentz force. In a DC motor, this force is what causes the rotor, armature, to spin, generating mechanical movement. What makes DC motors particularly useful is their precise controllability. With just basic electronic controls, you can easily adjust the speed by varying the voltage, reverse the direction of rotation by flipping the polarity control the torque output by changing the current. This makes DC motors ideal for applications where flexibility and responsiveness are key from small toys and drones to robotic actuators and electric vehicles. Despite their simplicity, DC motors are incredibly versatile, efficient, and remain one of the most essential components in modern engineering and automation. A brushed DC motor may look simple from the outside, but inside, it's a carefully designed system of components that work together to convert electrical energy into continuous rotational motion. Let's break down the essential parts and their functions. Stator, the stationary magnetic field. The stator is the fixed, non-moving part of the motor, responsible for generating the external magnetic field required for operation. There are two main types of stators, permanent magnets, commonly found in small motors, e.g. toy motors, fans, electromagnetic coils used in larger or industrial DC motors. The magnetic field from the stator interacts with the rotor's field to generate torque and rotation. Rotor, armature, the rotating element. The rotor is the central spinning part of the motor, also called the armature. It usually consists of a laminated iron core, which enhances magnetic interaction, copper windings wound around the core, where electric current flows and produces a magnetic field. When energized, the magnetic field generated by the rotor interacts with the stator field, creating the force that makes the rotor turn. Shaft, mechanical output. The shaft is connected to the rotor and rotates along with it. It delivers the mechanical output of the motor to external systems, such as gears, wheels, pulleys, or fans, enabling the motor to do useful work. Commutator, current reversing mechanism. The commutator is a split metal ring mounted on the rotor shaft. It plays a crucial role by reversing the direction of current flowing through the rotor windings every half turn. This reversal ensures that the torque direction remains consistent, allowing continuous rotation instead of stopping at magnetic equilibrium. The commutator is what gives the brush DC motor its name. It physically commutates, switches, the current. Brushes, electrical contact points. The brushes are stationary conductive blocks, usually made of carbon or graphite, that maintain electrical contact with the rotating commutator. They deliver current from the power source into the rotor circuit. Springs press the brushes against the commutator to ensure reliable contact as the motor spins. Brushes gradually wear down over time and are typically the first components to require replacement in maintenance. 
Together, these five components form the foundation of a brushed DC motor. They enable the conversion of direct current into useful mechanical motion, powering a wide range of devices, from small tools and toys to robotics and industrial machines. Now let's explore the core working principle behind a brush DC motor, how it transforms direct current into continuous rotational motion. Step one, current flow through the rotor windings. When a direct current DC is supplied to the motor, it flows from the external power source into the brushes, through the commutator, and into the copper windings on the rotor, armature. As the current passes through these windings, it creates a magnetic field around the rotor. This is known as electromagnetic induction. Step 2. Magnetic Field Interaction and Lorentz Force The magnetic field of the rotor now interacts with the static magnetic field created by the stator, which could be permanent magnets or electromagnets. According to Lorentz's law, when a current-carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, it experiences a mechanical force. In the case of a DC motor, this force is exerted on the rotor coils, causing the rotor to begin spinning. Step 3. Commutator reverses the current. Every half turn. As the rotor spins, the commutator plays a vital role. It automatically reverses the direction of current flowing through the rotor windings every half turn. This is essential because if the direction of current weren't reversed, the magnetic poles of the rotor would eventually align with the stator poles and the torque would drop to zero, causing the motor to stop. By flipping the current at just the right moment, the commutator flips the polarity of the rotor's magnetic field, keeping the magnetic interaction active and the torque consistent. Step four, continuous rotation is maintained. Thanks to this precise switching action, the torque generated by the interaction of magnetic fields always pushes the rotor in the same rotational direction. This results in a smooth, continuous spinning motion, which is the primary output of the motor. What if there were no commutator? Without the commutator, the current would never reverse, and the rotor would eventually lock in a position where the magnetic forces are balanced. At that point, the motor would stop rotating, stuck in equilibrium. That's why the commutator brush system is absolutely critical in brushed DC motors. In summary, a brushed DC motor operates by combining electromagnetism, magnetic field interaction, and mechanical switching to convert DC electricity into reliable rotational motion, a brilliant example of physics The commutator and brushes work together to keep the motor spinning smoothly. The commutator is a split metal ring attached to the rotor. The brushes are stationary carbon contacts pressed against the commutator using springs. As the rotor spins, the brushes make contact with different commutator segments, reversing the current in the rotor coils. This keeps the magnetic poles flipping and the rotation going in one direction. To increase motor torque and smoothness, engineers, use more coil windings on the rotor, employ stronger permanent magnets, increase the supply voltage, watch out for overheating, split windings into multiple loops to maintain torque, add additional commutator segments for continuous switching. Common DC motor types, brush DC motor, simple cheap, Brushless DC motor, BLDC, durable, low maintenance, separately excited DC motor, flexible control, series and shunt wound motors, torque variation, applications, robotics, power tools, medical pumps, EVs, drones, fans, cameras, servos,
Now you know exactly how a DC motor works, what it's made of, and where it's used. It's a small device powering the motion of the world around us. If you found this helpful, like, subscribe, and share to support Hexabot. More deep dive videos are coming soon.